This is Spothorff, and this is me. This picture is from 2011. Today is the 27th of May 2016. It's quite a significant day. I met Emma on the 6th of September 2010. We've known each other for nearly six years. We were in year 10. First time I ever met Spothorff was when we were put into the same study together. She'd already been in the school for one semester and then I came in the next semester and then we kind of met. And I remember seeing her in the corner of the room and just sitting there like, hi. As soon as that happened, she basically took me around the entire school introducing me to literally everybody because it happened, just so happened that she pretty much knew absolutely everybody and I got about 25 hugs that day and I'd never met these people before in my life, but it was Emma that showed me around and then soon after that we kind of became good friends. And then that kind of continued, we just kind of like became better friends over time and we just turned out that we had a lot of classes together, we had a lot in common, we had the same kind of sense of humour. We eventually became Howlett and Spoff. When GCSEs finished in June 2012, Emma was going to move to another school and I was going to continue on in the school that we have already been in and I was going to continue my A-levels there and she was going to continue her A-levels in a different college. So we became separated and we constantly kept saying to each other we've got to see each other, like, each other at least twice a week because by this time we were used to each other being always there. And I'm kind of happy to say that that actually worked for quite a while. We kind of both became pretty accustomed to hardly ever seeing each other during the week but we would just kind of make it work. I mean we didn't live too far from each other and by that time I was learning how to drive and I could drive to her and she was learning how to drive so she could drive to me and it became kind of easier. But then, then A levels finished. I had got a job at a production company in Cambridge and Emma had gotten into Lincoln University so naturally she was going to be at least two and a half hours away from me. So the time that we spent together got less frequent and it kind of became worse over time because I would always have work on and then she would you know be still be at uni and stuff she wouldn't really come home that much she'd maybe come home once every three weeks which is fine it's really good it was all right I mean basically every single time that we'd see each other we'd make the most of what we had and we'd make you know we'd still be best friends is what I'm saying and then I moved to Scotland last year and basically this meant that we were at least five hours away from each other by train. And this meant that I could hardly ever see Emma and she could hardly ever see me and the most that we'd pretty much get was once every two months or something. And that's quite difficult when it comes to seeing your best friend. Especially when you're so used to them being around and everything. I mean so. it wasn't easy, it was like we would be able to text each other and we'd be able to call each other if we ever needed each other and all of that kind of stuff and when we saw each other we pretty much rugby tackle each other to the ground which is great and everything and it's just one of those things like to be honest I can pretty much accept that it's gonna happen again. Either I'm gonna take up travel and filmmaking or she's gonna be sent off if she's gonna work for the RAF or just something is gonna happen where in which the world is going to separate us even further and we're going to spend even further or longer apart. It's inevitable, but we're never going to stop being best friends. I mean, no matter how much the world pushes us apart, we will always find a way to stay together. If you're wondering what kind of extent of best friends this is, I mean, think Woody and Buzz, think Johnny and Ted, think the fox and the hound. That's me and Em. We're pretty much a duo and we have been for the past almost six years. So today, why it's significant, is today is Emma's 20th birthday and we've known each other for more than a quarter of our lives. Here's the thing that I was getting to, in that 20 years I have had a lot of friends, I have lost a lot of friends, either from drifting apart or from somehow falling out with the person. Me and Em, we've never actually really been angry at each other. It's really strange when you find that one person who knows all of the problems about you and it doesn't acknowledge those problems or finds that it doesn't bother them then you will never stop being friends with them. So this video is for Em. One second. And here's to hopes that this doesn't go horribly horribly wrong. Hey. To all of the good times, sharing a study She's wearing my sunglasses. All of the school trips together that always went hilariously. So, okay, you ready? Ah, no, they're not electric. I was having. I'm guessing through our GCSEs in all the same classes. Hey, Spoff, go, go, go! <laughs> Prom. We don't talk about that. Completing the Spartan race together. 
running out of Prosecco here. All of those times that you let me use your house for photography and filmmaking. That time I got your car for your 17th birthday. Yeah. <laughs> the trip to Prague. All those times I came to Lincoln. All those times you came to Edinburgh with me. And here is to Budapest this weekend. It's been a life of two decades. Happy birthday, Anne. Cheers. <laughs>